This video is going to go over the old gray cat, uh, movements number two and number three. Okay, so we've talked about move, movement number one where the right hand is always in second inversion and that's the same for number two and three and four, all of the same. And in movements number one and four we have left hand root position and that's our normal hand position that we've been doing. However, the left hand in movement two is in what we call thumb on dough position. So I'm going to go ahead and write that here. Left hand, thumb on dough. Okay, so there's my dough right there because I'm in the key of G and that's a G right there. Okay, so I'm going to start with my thumb and you can see right here I didn't, I almost wrote over it, but right there is a number one. That's your number one for your thumb being on dough. Okay, so it sounds like this. I'm going to play it. You, know, you watch the music while I play it. So it starts out thumb on dough. Here we go. Do ti la so. Do ti la so. Second line. Do ti la so. La ti do. Now these. Notice these are all slurs, so those are nice and smooth. You heard me play them all connected, right? Connected. Connected, connected. But when we get here, you'll see that there are lines across. Those lines are not staccato. Staccato would mean like, right? But they're not staccato, but they're also not legato. They're also not connected. So it's more like a, a disconnected, um, but not also not staccato. So I'm going to hand the phone to my assistant, and I'm going to play the whole movement for you. And notice that the um, you start after you start the, on the downbeat. So the G here in my number underneath my number one is going to play on the second note, and we have a pickup note that, that goes first. And actually, remember all of these move up an octave, just like the fourth movement. So we're going to go up an octave for this part. Okay. Do you want to focus on your hands as well as the music? Um, let's try the music first, and then we'll do hands. Alrighty. Okay. So watch and listen. Try to follow along. And of course, it does say piano there, so it really should be a lot softer than I played it for you, but you can practice playing it softly. Okay, do it one more time, and you can watch my hands this time. So you want to think of the little mouse creeping when you play this, right? He's kind of creeping along. Think of him as creeping while you're playing that. Okay, let's take a look at the third movement. The uh, Let me go ahead and focus close in on the, on the bottom part here. So notice again we're starting on G. I'm going to write again, thumb on Do position. And circle that one. There's that number one. Um, your number one is your thumb in your left hand, so thumb on G, right? And notice it goes G, D, so that's my Sol, Do, or sorry, other way around, Do, Sol, and then again, Do, and then again, yep, Sol, and what's this one? And that one, hopefully you said Do, Sol again, and the same as the other uh, ending, La, Ti, Do, okay, so very simple, Do, so Do, so Do, so La, Ti, Do, okay, try playing it separately first, and notice there's this, this dotted half note right here is going to take all six of those beats, each one of these is do, D, do, D, and this does all the do's. Do, do, do. Okay, all, you hold it for all of the, all six beats in that measure. All right, Heather's going to hold it for me again. Thank you, Heather. And.
and we're gonna. Um, she's gonna show you the music first, and then we'll look at our hands. This one's down because this is our cat stocking, right? And again, legato all the way across the top. No staccatos. to those middle movements so if you've worked hard on these first two and you're getting them pretty down pretty well go ahead and start working on numbers two and three okay 